What's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we are back at camp and it looks like we've got a letter on our bedside Dear table. Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them. I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm just north of Valentine yours Mary Linton Mary Linton huh we got a letter from Mary and it sounds like she uh, she wants a piece of the Arthur pie what's up guys and welcome back I am uh, I'm excited Let's see what we can do here today. So it looks like um, this is Mary Lou up here. Or Mary Linton, not Mary Lou. Uh, outside of Val... Oh, she looks cute, dude. We're going to we're gonna definitely have to go hit her up. So we've got uh, her, we've got John, and then we've also got Hosea out here that we could do a little bit of work with. We could actually hit, uh, hit two bond defaulters on the way out there. But uh, for now, I guess... What do you guys think? I kind of want to let's let's go up to Mary Lou, dude. She's she's kind of out of the way, but I kind of want to see what this this letter is all about. And I also just realized I call her Mary Lou again. Mary Linton, we're coming for you. All right, so we made our way up to Valentine here, and she's gonna be just north of it. <laughs> want to make sure we don't run anybody over while we're in here, dude. That's one of the things that like I don't really think about. Until it's almost the last minute. If you run somebody over and hurt them, that's murder. Like you'll, you'll get in trouble for that. So we gotta be smart. Good old Mary Linton. She's got a little house up here. Can't be doing too bad for herself. Go see what we got going on. Nice flowers out in the porch. I like it. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. She's pretty intense. Ooh, she's hot. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear And you. she's single. Yeah. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I, uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. <laughs> Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians. 
that strange religious order. Oh, go gosh. For him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll help you. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <laughs> One thing I will say is we need to get our hat back on. We lost it, like... Hey, One or two episodes ago, and he just, he doesn't look, look quite as cool without the hat. All right, where are we going? We're looking for that ML. Ooh, all the way up here. Okay. Now, I've got a feeling if he's some, he's a part of some crazy religious cult, we're probably not going to be welcomed onto their, uh, their grounds, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens. This is... Gonna be interesting. Got an important history here with good old Mary Linton. I guess we just weren't good enough for her family though. Moving into somewhat uncharted territory out here. What's that lady doing just... Oh no, what do you need? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Are you serious? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You better be going in the same direction, lady. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? All right. Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal. Smart. Brave. Didn't take no guff. Not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once? I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Good job, he Biscuit. He hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. <laughs> I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. Is she cute? You can see her in the window sometimes. Yeah. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Yeah. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. 
I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. Hmm. Sounds like she hasn't had the, the easiest life. Oh, we're getting close now. So this is the Emerald Ranch. It's pretty nice if you ask me. I'm trying to go hit that daughter up though. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Pays to be kind, boys. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Worked on our honor a little bit. Got a little silver ring. I like it. Are we going to be able to cut across this? Where's our objective? Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's going to be a lot to cut across. We're actually right next to Hosea now. But I, I kind of want to, I want to go see what's going on with Mary's brother since we already started that, so. Yeah. Let's follow the road on around. A little bit of a detour, but yet again, Arthur Morgan's Uber service is uh, good to go. Yep. Look at these mountains, dude. Oh my goodness. These are beautiful. Up in the northern country a bit here. We just, we, there's so much more of the map to explore. Like, let's, let's go ahead and zoom out here. This is what we've worked with so far. And this is the size of the map. Are you kidding me, dude? This thing is massive. All right. Here we go, though. So this is, I guess, where all the crazy religious cultists hang out. Up in the north in the hills. The hills have eyes. Taking a right here. Whew. Come on, old Frankie. You got this, girl. It's right up here on top of this hill. I know this is a bit of a steep incline for you, but I believe. All right. Well. Let's go see what we got going on. No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen. What the f Shell of safety and they're covering the leader in a circle. Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Not a good one. Not the path of safety, that's for sure. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? <laughs> You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase. <laughs> are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. I'm gonna try to be nice. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? Yeah, this is stupid. I'm sorry. You're a fool for everyone's god. You're a maniac. Now let me talk to the goddamn boy. Subdue the leader. You really want to do this the hard way? <sighs> goddamn lunatic. Get off him. <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur. A kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these 
Those fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. But come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! So I guess we're gonna chase after him. Here we go. Come back here, Jamie. Jamie, just hold up a minute. This is none of your damn business. Are we gonna have to lasso him and hog time and bring him back home? Sorry. I mean, they're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? I don't want to force him to like he can believe whatever he wants. Oh, Jamie, your sister's worried about it. But I don't want him in a crazy cult. Pretty quick too. Come on, Frankie. Stop. Let's talk about this. I don't have to answer to you. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I was doing just fine by myself. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. I don't know if we should aim our weapon at him or what. We've got our bow out. We can switch to our lasso. I don't want to hurt the kid. I don't know if we can, like, kind of force him to stop or what. At least he's polite. What are you going to do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Is he shooting up in the air? Good Lord. Move. Move. Causing a stampede? Go. Oh no. Oh no. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Slowly press R2 to fill the meter. The more full the meter, the more you get to aim. Woo! Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? A little bit. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. yep. Just gonna leave your horse here? All right, oh. I guess. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. <laughs> Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father 
kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst <laughs> The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love what? apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. <laughs> I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. None of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. I don't know. Since I brought you back, we might be able to make something work, kid. We'll see what happens. We coming? We going in then? That we are. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. <laughs> but I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Carrying her bags for her. Quite the gentleman. Mm. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Just gonna let her leave again, huh, Arthur? Come on, man. At least we did the good deed, though. Helped her out. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. I like how he keeps journals. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. Typically wouldn't think that of a, a rough and tough Western outlaw, but... Uh, Alright, good stuff, guys. That was uh, a nice little mission. I enjoyed that. And now, I say we head out here. Let's rough up two guys, get our money back, and then hit up Hosea. So let's, uh... Let's go head out that way. We also need to, where can we buy, can we buy a hat in town? Gunsmith, law office, drugs, general store. I don't think we're gonna be able to. I think you have clothing back at the camp. I think we have like a little trunk of clothing. I'm hoping that if your hat gets knocked off, it just goes back there and you can get it back on there. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but. Let's go rough some people up and get some money. Oh, hold on. Oh, 
Got him. I got ambushed. Hold on a second. He's down. Woo! Well, just fell off our horse. Hold on a second. Give me a longer range gun. Get out of here, horse. Come on. Get down. Hide or dispose of the bodies to prevent unwanted attention. Dude, what the heck? Were those... I think those were... I think those were, were O'Driscoll boys. Oh my goodness, man. We were just riding along minding our own business and they just jumped us, bro. That was insane. That was actually really, really cool. Gonna make sure everything's reloaded. It's a good thing we have those dual hosters that we can hold the shotgun and the pistol now. We would have been in trouble. We didn't have our any other weapons equipped. I'm gonna go ahead and loot all these boys. Getting cartridges and money and all kinds of stuff. Stamina's up to level seven, that's good. All right. We're a $200 air, a 200 air, boys. Feels, uh, feels pretty good. I'm glad our horse is okay. How are you doing? Uh -oh. How's your, your health is looking all right. You weren't hitting the shot or, any, or the, the shootout or anything. Okay. There we go. We're gonna go back up here. Let's get back on the road. Yeah. Hopefully we don't get jumped again. That was kind of intense. Earn your fortune. Maybe earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. What the heck is going on here? We've got a wizard. Help a blind man. I think he's faking it, but I'll give him a dollar. Be warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. All right then, bro. Sounds good. Uh, See you later. Sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Yeah. It's crazy, crazy people out here in the plains, boys. Crazy people. Oh Lord, what do we have going on here? Horse fell on this woman. My legs all numb. Please hurry. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. Well, can we can we pick it up? Well, aren't you going to help? All right. I, I'll see what I can do. Oh, yes. Come on! Yes, just lift as hard as you can. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, thank you, you sure. said. Oh, okay oh, now. Okay. Oh, yeah. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, I don't know. You need a ride you home, ma'am? You want a ride home? Oh, oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. My Uber service is That's gonna have five girl. stars, dude. We you help everybody out. Time? I live there. No problem. I think that's kind of where we're going. Um. Never mind, it's, it's, it's the complete opposite. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Well, that's nice to hear. Close now. Just a little further. I'm kind of pissed that I had to backtrack all the way back here, but, uh... Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to be a, a valiant, good, good man in this playthrough, so... What? Gotta help out a damsel in distress, I guess. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. 
You be well. I think I had enough. Oh god! <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> All right, we're we're going back to the uh, back to the objective. So I believe uh, this farm right here is going to be our first target. These boys owe us some money. And uh, we're going to figure out where it is and how we can get it. We come in the back door. Just burst in the back door. Oh, that's locked. How about the front door? I don't see anybody inside, but it looks like this guy's out here working on his horse. You chick? I was told I could find a chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I want to talk to that feller over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see this guy when we came in. You chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So oh, okay. I see how it is. Hey, get back here. You lost money. Ah. I see how it is. Use the lasso to capture the dead or alive. Yeah. This dude is Go. smart. He's smart. Very, very smart. But we're gonna we're gonna track him down. We should have hopped on our horse. This horse sucks. This one was closer, so I thought that we were making a good decision, but... I'm not gonna lie, this horse is kind of slow. Should we shoot his horse? I don't really want to hurt a horse, though. The more you Here we go. You make me go much further. I'll get more than a dead off you. Don't you give up? Almost. We got him cornered along this train. Chance to save your hat. Stop. Please it, all right? Oh no, you don't. Got him. All right. That's how we do it. You ain't getting away this time, boy. Holy Moses! Look, look, I got the money, but it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. There ain't no nah. reason to tie God me like damn this. treasure hunt! You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Okay, so now it's gonna be interactive by pressing X in the satchel. So we can go in our satchel if we go to our documents. Treasure maps. Chick's treasure map shows a landmark and other clues to help you find a treasure. So let's go ahead and use this. Aren't you if something should happen to me, my worldly possessions are stored here. And it's inside of a tree. You got the map. Do the decent thing. I kind of want to put you on the train tracks and leave you there. So it's a tree off the road. And it's in the knob in the tree. Come on, man. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him on our horse. We're gonna go. We're gonna make sure we get the treasure. If we actually find the treasure, then we'll uh, Look we'll at the cut floor him off. Bit. Just gonna hold him hostage for a little bit. No big deal. How far is this? Not too far. He led us right to the treasure, too, dude. It's like right here. Search the highlighted area to find... Okay. I, it's going to be in this tree. For sure. In the hole in the tree. Right in here. I see it. I see it. There it is.
All right. The debt has been successfully recovered. So I'm gonna bring him back to the farm. We're gonna go get our horse. And uh, we'll cut him loose there. And now we're back where it all started. Hold on a minute. Whoa, whoa. Why? Why would you do that? Now I gotta kill y'all? And I gotta kill, no, I don't have to kill the dog. I gotta kill whoever was inside. You're a good boy. Oh, I'm trying to go inside and and get whatever loot he had. I don't. That guy was mad that we came back with the guy tied up. I was gonna let him loose. That hurt our our status too. You're free, brother. He's just gonna run. <laughs> I guess we didn't have to bring him back here. It probably would have been better to drop him off and, and not make make any problems, you know what I mean? Like they wouldn't have shot at us if we came back empty handed, but we'll take it. Sometimes you gotta be mean, I guess. So now we're gonna go over here, we're gonna get Lily Millet's money, and then we're gonna go talk to Jose and see what's going on with him. But for right now, we got one more debt to collect. And this debt's gonna be back in this emerald farm or whatever it was called. Emerald Ranch. We just gotta find out where this debtor is. Hopefully it's not the same girl that we saved and brought back here earlier. You know where Lily Millet is? She's with Cooper over by the store. Okay. Lily Millet, where you at, girl? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved me. I do. I do. Enough of this. Ain't got time for your quarrels. What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Whoa! Bitch. Whoa! Okay. I'm gonna see if I can take your hat too, cause I've been looking for a hat. Whew. Yes, sir. You thought, you thought you were, you thought you were somebody, huh? Oh, look at that. Can I take his hat too? Eh, I don't love this hat, but it's gonna have to do for now, I guess. Oh shoot. Witness to robbery. Law's gonna be dispatched to hunt us down. We gotta get out of here. Crime's been reported. But if we get out of the zone, they're gonna come looking for us. And we should be okay if we just hide out here for a minute. Yeah, this hat looks looks awful. This is this is not a nice hat. It's got a bow on the side of it. What why would you wear this hat? All right, we're gonna lie low for a minute, and then we're gonna go in and, and see what our boy's up to. As you can see, there's the lawmen coming in to investigate. They aren't gonna be able to see us from here, are they? Dude, that's pretty cool. I like how it takes them a minute to get there, too. They're investigating. 
checking the witnesses, doing what they can, but we're long gone. Oh, we've got a bounty now? Dude. Well, there's a post office on the back side over here. I don't want the lawmen to see me. But if we go to the post office and pay the bounty, we should be just fine. That was kind of smooth. Will you clear out of here, please? Oh. Sorry. Thought I was walking in the post office. Just trying to pay my bounty. Costing you a pretty penny to repay your debt. Can't even afford the other one. It's way too high, dude. 300 bucks? That is ridiculous. You only get five bucks for robbery, but we shut up that entire town, and that's... What the hell's the matter, huh? That's gonna cause us an issue. Those are the lawmen right there, dude, dude. Oh my gosh. We barely got that paid off. All right, we're back. We're good to go. I feel like we shouldn't be riding our horse through these people's gardens. But we've got Hosea right here. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. Look like an idiot with that hat on. What? Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> All right. I mean, take a little stagecoach, earn a little money. I ain't mad at it. I'm down. Let's go do it. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Okay. The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> We're headed to Carmody Dell, boys. Could have played that better, couldn't Let's you? Let's go get this cheddar. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Let's see how the world's changed when you're traveling. Get around these guys. So you actually, when you go through the, the brush and stuff, it like makes your horse mad and sometimes it hurts it because sometimes there are like thorns and stuff in the bushes. So you got to be careful. Make sure you try to stay on the roads at all times. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type. I'm... Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Okay. Whoa! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. 
So he said no killing. killing Come on. Just gonna hog tie some people up, knock some people out, and that's it, or what? Or gonna go full stealth and not let anybody know we're here. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Use your binoculars to look at the home. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Looks like we don't really have an option for night. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> this makes me a bit nervous. Wait until I Hang back from Jose and sneak into the home. So we got two people inside. My good man! My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Free! There we go. Got a medicine chest up here. Where would you keep all your valuables? Got to be some stuff in here. We're at $28. Dude, I feel really bad about this. Go upstairs. Oh, there's some whiskey here. Or brandy or something. Kentucky bourbon. And we got the rest of the stuff in this, I'm assuming. Everybody keeps their good stuff in the chests. $14. All right, we're good. I'm gonna go back out the back. He's doing some chiropractor work, I guess. Stagecoach. We're gonna wait in here. <laughs> Dude, that was intense. We might have been able to steal a little bit more up in that room, but I wanted to be sure we weren't gonna get caught. I feel like you can get a little bit too uh, too greedy. I feel like we timed that pretty well. Come on, Hosea. Just chilling in a barn by myself. Here he is. 
Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. All right. Yep. Is there a way to be silent about this? Or are we just... Damn it, they're on to us! We're we just riding out. out of here. I thought we weren't killing them! Go, 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 go. Yep. Go, go, go! I think we lost him. I don't see the red in the map anymore. You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Slow down. You'll burn out the horses. So what you wanted me to shut all the, from the house? doors and stuff pace. behind us? Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. All right. This was We're good. Than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. Right. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. It feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Well, we did it. Hello, Shane. Hey, what's up, buddy? We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. And that's all she wrote. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? I'm down. Sure. Let's do it. So that's a new business, little side business we can do. Steal some people's stagecoaches, drop them off, chop them up. This is like an old school chop shop, baby. Make that money. That's good stuff, guys. This is a really productive episode. Helped out an old flame. Saved a brother from committing suicide. Helped out a couple of damsels in distress. Stole a stagecoach, robbed the house. Beat up some people and got our money back. And now we're going to be able to deposit that that money into our, our tithing box here at the camp. I'd say we had had a pretty good pretty good run here. Let's go ahead and go up here. Drop off uh, Frankie here at the hitching post. Completed a mission. Can now sell stolen wagons to Seamus the Wagon Fence morning, and Emerald Ranch. Dude, that's kind of exciting. I'm, I'm excited about that. All right, we're going to go over to our tithing box. In addition to buying stolen wagons, Seamus runs a fence. Visit a fence to sell valuables, buy illicit goods, or craft talismans and trinkets. Interesting. I've never heard of a fence before. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give all the debts in here. Got a $4.32 share. And a three dollar and fifty one cent share. Half that we spent on uh, on our bounty for taking that debt, but uh, we did pretty well, boys. I uh, I'm happy with how that went. So if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you did subscribe, if you haven't already. Peace out. I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly.